Hi guys, Peter Finch here down the Quest Golf Academy and this is the first little roundup video of the Golf Along series of videos. Now over this week, we've covered some of the basics of the setup and of the pre-shot and pre-round routines. So what we're gonna do here is condense them all into one video and show you how you can practice them within one session. Now remember, the first thing you're going to be doing before you even start hitting shots is that pre-round slash pre-practice session stretching routine. Make sure your body is in the correct place before you even start hitting shots. Now that's gonna take a little bit of time and please refer to that first video before we go any further. And once those stretches are done, then you can crack on with the main practice session. So to complete this drill, you're gonna need alignment sticks and you're gonna need four balls at a time. Because what we're gonna do is work through all the things that we've covered so far. So the first drill we're gonna be doing is the grip drill. Now the grip drill, just to make sure you've got that neutral grip, just bypass it very, very quickly. So the grip on that left hand running from the base of the little finger through the middle of the index, that left hand wraps over, and as you look down on the grip here, you've got the toe pointing straight up at the sky. See two and a half knuckles on the back of that left hand with the V pointing up towards the right shoulder. Then as the right hand goes on, it covers the left thumb and the V created by the thumb and the forefinger here point up towards the right chest. Now once you've gone through that routine and you've got that grip, I've got the alignment sticks here set up to the side of the ball. And what I'm gonna do is make sure that that club face is pointing down my target line, which is represented here by the front alignment stick. I'm gonna get set up, just the ball, pretty much middle of the stance, because it's only a little half swing. I'm gonna take it back, make sure that leading edge is matching my spine angle. Have a little practice swing, making sure that leaning edge is matching my spine angle. And then just clip a shot away. Only that short swing. Just trying to get that club moving down the target. So that's the first ball. On to the second ball, it is now the alignment drill. Now this is very much dominated by these alignment sticks, which are all pointed down the target line with the front two alignment sticks, and then this inside alignment stick is the body line. Remember, you are aiming your body parallel, but to the left of your eventual target. If you want more clarification on this, check out that video on the alignment. But what I'm gonna do here is go through that routine with the grip, getting my grip correct again, and then as I stand to the side of the ball, I'm gonna start with my feet together. I'll take a little step, little step, just with a short iron here, so ball position is quite central. I'm gonna make sure the feet, the knees, and the shoulders are all lined up and parallel to target line. I'm gonna be getting into that posture. And then just having a swing away once I feel like my posture is in the correct position. If you wanted to just check that club face again going back, by all means, give it a go. And then clip that second shot away. So next up in the practice session with that third ball is all about the pre-shot routine. Now we already have discussed what you actually want within that pre-shot routine. What are the little tick boxes that you want to get clear in your head? And as you're going through your routine, you need to be making sure you're ticking them off one by one. So first of all, starting off behind that golf ball, looking down straight your target line, picking a target and we've already gone through everything that we've discussed about shot selection and distance and all the rest of it. So you're looking down the target, tracing the line back to your ball, picking about a point in front of the ball to aim the club face, obviously represented by these alignment sticks. If you're on a grass driving range, it can be anything, a leaf or whatever. Trying to visualize that shot. So I use the shot tracer method where I imagine the shot tracer going through the air. Then once I'm comfortable with that, moving into the side of the ball, getting the club face set, getting into the posture, little rehearsal, making sure club face is right with that grip, look at the target, and then pulling trigger. Now with this last ball, it's all about trying to find the correct trigger to your golf swing. Now I've already discussed about how different triggers work for different people, so like Jason Duffner, Henrik Stenson, two extremely contrasting styles there. But this is all about finding what works for you. And like I mentioned, with this last one, try and cut all technical thought out just to the side of the ball and just find a way which allows you to take that club away as freely as possible. Now for some people, and this is what I'd recommend to try first of all, is getting set up to the side of the ball, 
just having a couple of little waggles just to the side and then adding in a little bit of a forward press then taking the club away. Now that generally will work for most people, but it's all about finding what works for you. And when you find what works for you, when you find what helps you take that club away nice and freely, then go ahead and clip that last ball away. Right guys, that is how you can condense that first week into one practice session. Now make sure you work hard at that because in the next videos, we're gonna be moving on to more technical aspects within the backswing. But hopefully you've enjoyed this series so far. Please comment below, let me know what you think. Make sure you've downloaded your sheet so you can follow this step-by-step -step guide and make sure you know where the playlist is of these videos to take it step by step. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of the other videos make sure you follow me on my other social media platforms as well which are all linked in the description below and we'll see you down here next time